What's the crack YouTube? It's Supreme Guru. Customizing your phone is one of the best features on Android. There are so many apps out there for you to use. I've tested a huge amount of apps and the app that I recommend overall is Nova Launcher. In this video, we are going to dive a little deeper into Nova Launcher on Android. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to customize your phone to your own liking. Now this video isn't going to be a full featured review because you would be here all day, but the good news is that I'm making this into a seven part video. For today's video, I'm gonna be running through the setup of your home screen. Part two of this video will be coming out soon, which will go through customizing your app and widget drawers. Now, before we jump in, I want to let you know a little about me. I am Supreme Guru and I have a huge passion for breaking down tech for everyone to understand and learn. If you're watching this video and are wanting to learn more about tech, not only on Android, but also on iPhone, then subscribe to my channel. So when you first open up Nova Launcher, you will be greeted with your main menu. Now, Nova Launcher probably being one of the most popular launchers for Android, gives you a ton of options to customize your phone. What we're gonna go into first is your desktop settings. Don't be confused or put off by the name of this first setting. Desktop is just another way of describing your home screen. Let's kick off by going through the desktop grid. Your desktop grid is choosing how many apps you want to be able to put on your home screen. As you can see, I have my home screen set up to be able to have five columns of apps within 10 rows. To explain this better, I'm gonna fill my home screen with apps so you can see what I'm talking about. Now that you have seen and learned about this first setting, customize this to your liking. Now let's move on to the icon layout. Your icons are just another name for your app icons. In here, you could change the size of your apps. This is really beneficial for anyone with site problems because it allows you to choose a really large size. The label settings allow you to choose whether you want the name of your apps below their icons. As you can see, when I turn the option on, you can see from the example above how this will look. You can then customize it further by adjusting the size, style and color of font. Now we are going to move on to width and height padding. For a good solid year, I never really understood what this option was. The easiest way for me to describe it is by watching what happens to my search bar when I change the height and width padding. So as you can see, this crops your widget to a particular size of your liking. The option for a persistent search bar means that no matter how many home screens you have, the Google search bar will be on every screen. I prefer to have my Google search bar on my main screen but you can choose whatever you want to your liking. Search bar style allows you to customize the look of your search bar. You can even change the color of your search bar to suit the setup of your home screen. Now let's move on to the scroll effect. This is the transition effect when scrolling between home screens. So what I'm gonna do is create a new home screen so you can understand what I'm talking about. So now that I have got two home screens, you can see the transition effect whenever I scroll between each screen. You can change this to whatever you want. As you can see, I have chose cube and you can see that transition effect as soon as we swipe between each screen. Now let's try the revolving door. As you can see, when we scroll through, you can see that it transitions in a particular type of way. Now let's go on to wallpaper scrolling. So this is the scroll wallpaper when scrolling through home screens. You can set this to whatever you please. I have mine just switched on, 
but what we're going to do is click on to reverse so that you can see what I'm talking about. So now let's create a second home screen and as you can see as I'm scrolling through my wallpaper you can see that effect. Now what we're going to go into is the infinite scroll. So basically whenever I create a second screen as you can see here I can just continuously keep swiping my finger and I'm scrolling through each of my home screens. So again set this up to your liking if you have more than one home screen. Now what we're going to go into is the page indicator option on Nova. So as you can see here I've got mine set as the default page indicator which is just the line as you can see you can change this to the three dots if you really wanted to and I will show you exactly what that will look like so again I'm going to create a second screen and as you can see at the very bottom as I scroll through that page indicator as I'm swiping through now what I'm going to do is go back into my Nova settings option and I'm just going to show you what I had it switched on to, which was the line option. So we're going to swipe through and as you can see that line moving as we're swiping through the pages. Now you can also change the color of this page indicator. Let's change it to black. And as you can see, it's very hard to notice with the wallpaper that I've got on in the background. So adjust this accordingly to your liking. The last thing that I need to go through is adding an icon to the home screen. All this means is whenever you download a new application from the Google Play Store, it will automatically put your application onto your main home screen. Now I keep this switched off and that is because I like to keep my home screen the way that I have got it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was quite long. There's not that many videos out there on YouTube that go into so much depth on Nova Launcher, so I thought I would create a video for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you use a different launcher and you want to shout out about that launcher, then throw that down in the comments section below. Drop me a comment if there's anything that you're unsure of. Until next time guys, you've been watching and listening to Supreme Guru. Peace.